How much have I prepped for this video? Zero percent. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm gonna make this because I have started a diet and I can't eat this. Oh, you know what? Now I remember. Somebody once tweeted me that I should make truffle fries and that sounds so good. So I asked myself, hey, since you're on a diet, what would make it even more hard to deal with that you can't eat it? And I said, oh, I know, waffleize the fries. So today we're gonna be making waffle truffle fries. And for everyone that's thinking, oh, you're making something, you're just gonna waste all this food, don't fret. I'm going to go over a friend's house and bring the gifts, which will probably in turn get me more friends. This is not a secret plot, because it's not secret anymore. Potatoes! Do I need to wash these? Sure, why not? When in doubt, rinse it out. It's not the best tagline, but it's not really the worst either. What is the worst tagline? Let's see. Not the best tagline is have it your way at Burger King, because if I had it my way, I would not be at Burger King. Oh my god, the shade. Well, pack your umbrellas. We need a waffle fry slicer, which I didn't know existed. I just thought maybe Chick-fil-A said a prayer asking for their fries to be superior than all the other fast food chains. This is from William Sonoma, two of my best buds. Unboxing, ooh. Here we have some plastic covering a bunch of other plastic. Cardboard, now this is a mixed media type of thing. How do you do it? How much food? I was gonna say, how much force is too much force? Apparently the gravity of this is too much. Jeez, it shouldn't be so hard to open. What I've heard in every relationship of mine. <laughs> wow, this is an investment that I'm okay with. This has got to be it. I would watch a tutorial, but <laughs> I'm not going to. Whoa, maybe I should. Oh, perhaps the thing that fell on my foot could be of service. Chefin. That's what it's called. Dang straight, we chefing? The whitest thing I've ever said. I guess I'm just gonna chop off a tip and then start going at it. She's single! Oh my god. What's happening today? All right, here we go, a little chop stop. Ah! I was very resolute in doing it, but I got a very tiny, um, tiny tip. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to, is that a thing? Oh god, no. Oh no. Maybe I should read a manual once in my life. Oh, it's breaking in front of my eyes. I have broken it. And it's not really a waffle either. This fry has gone awry. I think that's my tagline. <laughs> what? <sighs> waffle blade. Ha! <laughs> that's because I chose the wrong blade. Look at you, being wrong all the time. Oh, maybe you're just supposed to stay calm while you do it. It's new for me too. I kind of don't want to peek until it's all done though. Imagine seeing a pile of waffle fries versus one waffle fry. That's why I'm waiting. This is not a waffle fry! What did I do wrong? I've been duped! Which one of you is up to this, William or Sonoma? Both of you are off my top eight. Why did you lie like this? Here's my last attempt at making this not make me upset. I'm going to take the way that the waves are and turn it 90 degrees and see if maybe that cut is going to get into the places that weren't already incisioned. Hang on. <gasps> oh my gosh. I think I might be able to fix this. Maybe this was in the directions. I'm gonna continue with alternating. We're getting somewhere. I don't think we'll ever arrive, but I think we're on our way. We have done it. Some of them look really delightful. Like if these were girls in rush hour and they walked in and they had to hand pick which ones they would want, I think these would be the money. Throw these under cold water and then dry with a towel. I should bake these, but I think I might just fry them because they're not called bakes. The next thing you need is vegetable oil. Put the vegetable oil inside the pan so that it's got a lot of vegetable oil atoms around each other. What's it called? Fill it up. Wow. Sometimes you come across a good one. And they lead you anyway. Oh my God. These are all just jokes. I'm fine. I'm fine. Freak! Ugh! Not again. It's so deceiving. I was waiting for it to boil, but I guess we don't need that. The sound is gonna be crazy. 
crazy, but if you want an immersive experience, that's how it feels right now. We're gonna cook them for two minutes, take them out, and then cook them again. This part's going better than planned. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this is how easy it was. I did them in two batches. I tested it on the rejects and they actually don't look like rejects anymore. After you cook them and they sit, they turn more into french fries than they looked before. Welcome to cooking. All right, go for round two. Look at the difference. This is the first go round. This is the second go round. This looks Incredible. In order to make truffle fries, you gotta have truffle. A lot of people loved OD on it. It's really bad if you have too much of it. I'm gonna put it on my fingers and flick it on. It's a technique I do quite often, actually. So I'm just gonna do this and it doesn't work. So I'm just going to grope them. Wow, the feeling. I know I can't taste them, but just feeling them might be enough. In order to make this look even better and therefore make me a little bit more salty that I can't eat them, now I'm just playing. This is my actual dress up. Taking parchment paper, take your square, put it inside the bowl and push it in the center so that you have a divot. Now we insert the fries. Sarvaccio, Parmesan cheese. On their label it says, ask a pear or walnut which cheese they prefer and they'll say, one that's fruity with hints of lightly roasted caramel aged to crumbly perfection. In other words, our finest Parmesan. Interesting take Sarvaccio because I'm pretty sure that would be anthropomorphizing food. They can't talk, so. Grate the cheese right on top and it's gonna look so glorious, I'm gonna wanna die. This is but a dream. Wow, I really want to be good, but I also really want to try this. Okay, I'll just smell it and give you a rating on the smell. Oh God. I think I just went into a trance. And there you have it. These are your waffle truffle fries. My name's Megan Batum, so check us out. Uh, Let's hear the crisp. Oh my God, these would be so good. 10 out of 10 would do this again. That's my second tagline.